children now let's do the word problems from page number 69 to do this word problems you have to take a fresh page in your math notebook write down the heading page number 69 word problems you can refer your textbook page number 69 Now let's do the first sum. One round of the walking track in the park is 250 meters long. Ajit's grandfather walks that path four times every morning. How many kilometer does he walk every day? Now let's solve the sum. Length of the here it is given children spelling of walking is written wrong. You have to write W A L K I N G. Length of the walking track is equal to 250 meter. Number of grandfathers. Number of times grandfather's walk is equal to four. Total length two fifty m into four. When you multiply two fifty into four, we get one thousand. One thousand meter means one kilometer. So we know that one thousand meter is equal to one kilometer. So grandfather walks one kilometer every day. Now let's do the second sum. Sulba bought four and a half meters of cloth. She divided. It into five equal lengths and gave them to five friends. How much cloth did each friend get? Now, length of the cloth is four hundred and one by two. That is four and a half meter. Now, four and a half meter means four meter plus half meter. Now, we have already learned that one meter is equal to hundred centimeter, and half meter is fifty centimeter. So, four and a half will be four plus half. That is four meter is hundred into four. That is four hundred meter plus fifty centimeter. Is equal to. Children, here you have to write four hundred cm, four hundred centimeter plus fifty centimeter is equal to four fifty centimeter. Okay. Now you have to divide this four fifty centimeter into five friends. So dividing four and a half into five equal part that is four fifty divided by five. So when you divide four fifty by five, you get the answer nineteen. Five nine is a forty five. When you cancel, when you cut five minus five is zero, four minus four is zero. Then we'll take this zero down, and zero five zero is a zero. So each friend will get ninety centimeter cloth. Understood, children? Now let's do the third sum. If one liter of petrol cost rupees seventy, how much do two and a half liters of petrol cost? Now cost of one liter petrol is seventy rupees. So cost of two liters petrols will be seventy into two. That is one forty. Now we want to find the rate of two and a half. So we have found out two liters. Two liters is one forty, and half of seventy. Half liter petrol means half of seventy. So seventy if we divide by two, we get, will get the half. So when we divide two, three is a six. You have to write the six below seven children. You have to write the six below the seven. So say six minus seven. Sorry, seven minus six one. Take the zero down. Down ten. Two five is a ten. So the answer will be. Cost of two and a half liters of petrol is one forty plus thirty five. That is equal to one seventy five. So two and a half liter of petrol will cost rupees one seventy five. Now let's do the fourth sum. Jenny bought a quarter kilogram of barfi, half a kilogram of chowda, a quarter kilogram of shave, and three quarter kilograms of jelly bean from a shop. What was the total weight of her purchases? The quantity of barfi is one fourth kg. Quantity of chowda that is half kg, quantity of shave is one fourth kg, and quantity of jelly is three fourth. Three quarters means three fourth kg. Okay. Now half one fourth kg means two fifty grams, half kg means five hundred grams, and three fourth kg means seven fifty grams. Now what is the total weight she has purchased? One fourth kg of barfi, half kg of chowda, one fourth kg of shave, and three fourth kg of Shave, and yeah, sorry, jelly. So we'll minus a plus two fifty gram plus five hundred gram plus two fifty gram plus seven fifty gram. Now, when you do the addition, you can do the working on the side. When you add it, we get the answer one seven five zero. See, when you add it, two fifty plus five hundred plus two fifty plus seven fifty, we get one seven five zero. So total weight of Jenny's purchase is one kg and seven fifty grams. Understood, children? Now the fifth sum. Wasim school started a, at a quarter past twelve. 
quarter past 12 means 12 o'clock and 15 minutes in the afternoon and finished at half past 5 half past 5 means 5:30 in the evening if the break was for half an hour that is the recess is for half an hour how much time did the children spend in the classroom now from quarter past 12 that is from 12:15 to 1 o'clock it becomes 45 minutes okay the time between 1 to 5 is equal to 4 hours if you count it 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 we get 4 hours or you can minus 1 minus 5 it will become 4 hours okay now from 5 o'clock to half past 5 it is 30 minutes so they are working first from 12 15 to 1 o'clock that is 45 minutes 1 to 5 it is 4 hours and then from 5 to 5 30 is 30 minutes now we have to add this 45 minutes 4 hours and 30 minutes so but the break there is a break of 30 minutes 30 minutes that is the last 30 minutes if you remove it it becomes 4 hours 45 minutes now the sixth sum sharad went to his friend's place on a motorcycle when he started the reading was 19235 kilometers when he reached his friend's place the reading showed 19301 kilometers how many kilometers did sharad travel the reading of sharad's motorcycle when he started 19235 km reading of sharad's motorcycle when he reached his friend's place 19301 km now kilometers traveled by sharad you will have to minus 19301 minus 19235 let's do the working here when you do the working the answer will be 66 we cannot minus from 15 so you have to carry over here from here it from 10 will take 1 it will become 9 it will become 11 we cannot take from 0 1 so we have to take from 3 1 from 3 will take 1 it will become 2 this 1 will give it to the 0 it will become 10 from 10 will remove 1 and we'll give it to 11 this 1 to the unit place it will become 11 so answer will be sharad travel 66 kilometers children all these sums you have to write in your maths notebook it's a neat and a good handwriting thank you Thank you.